what is up guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can scrape upwork jobs automatically on any tab let's get started to scrape upwork jobs i'm going to use this tool called appify appify is an incredible tool that you can use to scrape any website and automate projects create an account on appify and after creating an account on appify head over to appify store here we're going to search for the website that we would like to scrape in our case we'd like to scrape jobs from upwork so i'll search for upwork then click on search and here you can see 18 tools that you can use to scrape upwork so you can scrape upwork jobs using either of these tools over here i'm going to choose to use this tool over here so i'll open the tool on a new tab so all we have to do is add the job keyword over here for example we can scrape web developer jobs from upwork the other thing we can add is the client's location which is optional and the maximum results that you'd like to scrape in our case we can scrape only five web developer jobs now to scrape five developer jobs using our tool i'm going to click on save and start here you can see that our tool is running and our actor is getting our data here you can see that our tool succeeded in scraping five jobs for us here you can see the five jobs that our tool scraped for us here are the titles of the jobs you can see hubspot developer shopify developer software engineer wordpress export and another job title that requires you to, to build bubble.io application. So here we are getting the contract type, the description of the job, fixed price budget, hourly rate, the time the job was posted, the title of the job and the link of the job. We would like to scrape these Upwork jobs automatically using any 10 On any 10 I've created a new workflow that I've renamed to scrape Upwork jobs on any 10 over here to get these jobs that we just scraped on AppFi on our N810 tool. Here, I'm going to click on API. And here, I'm going to search for the get dataset item. And here, we're going to copy it. And then on N10, I'm going to search for the HTTP module. And then here, for the method, we're going to choose get. And I'm going to paste the link that we just copied over here. And then I'll click on test step. Here, you can see we are getting the five jobs that we just scraped over here. The first job that we're getting is the household developer job. Here is when it was posted, the description of the job, URL of the job, contract type, the tags, and the hourly rate. Click on table, and here you'll see the five jobs that we just scraped over here. To automatically get our jobs over here without having to paste our URL over here, we're going to use a webhook. So I'll delete this and search a webhook right here. I'm going to go back you can connect it to a module over here now here you're going to see the link to our webhook that we're going to send our data so here i'll copy it then on app file i'll close this here i'll click on integration here i'll click on manage integrations and then here i'll click on add integration and then here i'm going to search for webhook then click on webhook here we can name our webhook to upwork job scraper and then click on save. Here I like to start when run was succeeded. Here, we're going to paste the URL that we just copied of our webhook right here. We're going to leave everything as is. And here, I'm going to click on save. Now on our webhook, I'm going to listen for test event. And then here, I'm going to test if our webhook works by clicking on test. Okay, so here you can see it's not running because we used uh, get method instead of post so i'm going to stop listening and choose post method now we can listen for a test and here i'm going to click on test again you can see it was succeeded our webhook works properly you can see even we're getting a joke over here so our webhook works properly and we've connected it to our http request mode i'll test workflow here i'm going to click on start to scrape five web developer jobs from upwork using our tool right here so you can see our tool is running and it's getting our data right here we scraped five jobs from upwork now on our webhook you can see we captured our data that we scraped from appify using a data set id right here now on our http request node here i'll click on expression and then instead of manually adding our data set id we're going to drag our data set id so i'll drag the default dataset id over here 
And now I'll click on test step. Here we can, you can see the five web developer jobs that we scraped using Appify. I'll click on table and here you can see the five web developer jobs that we just created on, on Upwork using Appify. So yeah, I'll rename this module to get Upwork jobs. Then here I'll click on rename. After getting our Upwork jobs, we can add the Upwork jobs to a Google spreadsheet. Now on Google Sheet, I've created a spreadsheet that I've renamed to Scraping Sheet. This is the spreadsheet that we're going to add our Upwork jobs after we scrape the jobs using Appify on any time. On this spreadsheet, we are going to add our job title, the time the job was posted, contract type, hourly rate, the description of the job, and the job URL. Now here, I'm going to search for Google Sheet, then click on Google Sheets. I'm going to click on Append the Sheet. And here, we will create a credential to connect with any time. By clicking on create a new credential, here you use the OAuth tool and then sign in with your Google account. And your window will be prompted where you'll choose the account that you'd like to sign in. Then after choosing the account, clicking on OK, your connection will be created. Since I had already created my connection, I'm going to close. Choose my connection right here. Yeah, we're going to choose the operation as a pen draw. And then here we're going to choose our document. Our document is a scraping sheet. And then here we're going to choose our sheet. We'd like to add our jobs to the Upwork sheet. Yeah, we're going to manually add values to our columns on our spreadsheet. So for the job title, we're going to add the job title. We're going to drag the job title value right here. For the posted art, we're going to drag the posted art value right here. Contract type, we're going to drag the contract type right here. For the hourly rate, we're going to drag the hourly rate over here. For the description, we're going to drag it right here. Lastly, for the job URL, we're going to drag the job URL right here. Now to add the web, five web developer jobs that we scraped on Upwork, I'll click on test step. You can see our jobs were added to our spreadsheet. On our spreadsheet, you'll see the jobs that we scraped from Upwork. These are the five jobs that we scraped from Upwork. Here are the job titles, the time the jobs are posted, contract type, the hourly rate, the descriptions of the jobs over here, and the job URL. Here, I'm going to click on back to convert. And here, I'm going to rename these to Upwork Jobs. Then click on Rename. Our automation works perfectly. Now, we can try and scrape another job using a different job keyword. To do that, I'll click on Test Workflow. And then on our Upwork Job Scraper tool on Appify, I'll click on Actor and go back to our tool right here. This time around, we can scrape Loyal. I would like to scrape only five. So after we click save and start, our tool is going to scrape five lawyer jobs. And then the jobs are going to be captured by our, our automation. And then we're going to get the jobs and add the jobs to our spreadsheet. To do that, I'll click on save and start to scrape our jobs. Here I'll click on output. And here you can see that our tool is running and getting our data. Yeah, you can see our tool succeeded in scraping five lawyer jobs. From Upwork, here are the five jobs that we scraped. Here are the titles of the jobs. And then here, you can see we capture the jobs using our webhook. And then our webhook, we capture the data using our data set ID. And then we got our jobs on the HTTP module right here. So here you can see the titles of the jobs. These are lawyer. These are the five lawyer jobs that we scraped from Upwork. And then we added the jobs to our spreadsheet. On our spreadsheet, you can see we added our five lawyer jobs over here. So here we can insert a row above to separate the two runs. So these were the web developer jobs. And then these are the five lawyer jobs that we just created on Upwork over here. So here we add in the job title, the day or time the job was posted. Here we also add in the contract type, the hourly rate, the description of the job right here, and the link to the job in case you'd like to apply to the job. I'll click on back to Canvas. So automation works perfectly. We can try one last example on our Upwork job scraper tool on Appify. I'm going to click on after. Yeah. We can try to scrape five accountant jobs. To do that, in automation, I'm going to click on test workflow. And then on Appify, on our Upwork job scraper tool, I'm going to click on save and start. I'm going to click on output. And you can see that our tool is running and waiting to get our data. And our workflow is running. Here we're going to get the data that we scraped using our data set ID. Here we're going to get the Upwork jobs that we scraped and add the jobs to our spreadsheet. 
You can see that our tool succeeded in scraping five accounting jobs. Over here, you can see these are bookkeeping jobs. Now, on automation on any 10, you can see that it, it ran successfully. Here, we got our data. And then we got our Upwork jobs using our data set ID. Okay, and these are the five jobs that we scraped from Upwork with accounting as our keyword. And then we proceeded to add our jobs to our Google spreadsheet, to our Google spreadsheet. Now, when we open our spreadsheet, you can see we added addi five additional jobs that we scraped from Upwork. So here I'll insert two rows above to separate the two runs. Here you can see we have got five accounting jobs that we scraped from Upwork and added to our spreadsheet. Here we added the job title, the time the job was posted, contract type, hourly rate, the description of the job, and the URL of the job in case you like to apply to the jobs. So here I'll click on back to Canvas and save our workflow. So our workflow works perfectly. On Appify, we are scraping jobs using a job keyword. And then on any 10, we are getting the job that we scraped from Appify using a data set ID. And then we are adding the job that we scraped from Appwork to our, to our Google spreadsheet. So we add in the job title, posted ad, contract type, hourly rate description, and job URL over here. This was a quick video showing you how you can scrape Appwork jobs using Appify on any 10. If you have a workflow, or an AI agent that you'd like for me to create on any 10, just comment down below in the comment section. And if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire workflow or AI agent from scratch. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.